figured I would start today's vlog off now because I want to tell you guys about something that I recently tried and I'm obsessed with. First, I just wanted to say hi and welcome to the vlog. Also, my hair is like so dirty. I have been washing it a lot because like when I was traveling and stuff, like I wanted my hair to look good and so like I would wash it more than I normally do. So this week I've just been kind of like marinating, uh, but it's hair wash day. For sure. I just made myself some breakfast, like I said. Also, a coffee, which I feel like I've like mastered Nespresso. Like, I never really understood the hype. Like, I was like, it's not that good of coffee, blah, blah, blah. If you make it right, it's so good. Maybe I'll show you guys my recipe later because I make like two a day and then I make a decaf at night, but I make two coffees a day. And I've just been making all my coffees at home just because I have been feeling better within myself and don't feel the need to like go and shop a lot because that's like my number one coping mechanism. But I did a lot of damage like last month. So I'm just trying to like cut back on spending is basically what I'm saying. Also, I still fully have pimple patches on, but I need to eat because my insulin timer just went off. But I wanted to tell you guys, this is not sponsored. They did send me these, but I also tried them on my own first. Better bagels, you guys. I will link them down below. They are like low, like low carb bagels. Like technically, I think there's five net carbs because there's like there's only like five carbs that like aren't covered by the fiber. They're so good. They are like the texture is like one percent off from a normal bagel. Like it's more like a maybe like a gluten free bagel. Like it kind of tastes like that. I have no idea if they are gluten free, but they are so good. They do not spike my blood sugar. I do take insulin for them. I just do it for like as if they were like 15 carbs. That was just like what I guessed and uh, it works for me. So I can't wait to eat this in my hyper fixation breakfast even though eggs are giving me the egg, but scrambled eggs with, which I've been adding almond milk because my friend Natalie got that when she was here helping me with my wisdom teeth and she left it here and so I've been like using it and I've been putting it in my eggs with a little bit of butter to make them like more delicious and then berries and then a the bagel with avocado and it's been like my favorite breakfast it's so fulfilling like i don't get hungry till like 2 p.m because like <laughs> it's like so filling but anyways i'm gonna eat this finish my coffee and watch a little bit of youtube i've been up for a while now i got up at like six so it's 8 p.m now and then i'll get changed for my workout get a little workout in and then um Alyssa's actually coming to stay with me and hang because funny story um me and all my friends were supposed to do something for Halloween, but plans fell through just for like, there was a couple reasons and they're not able to make it anymore, but Alyssa already had a flight. So obviously like I'm not gonna make Alyssa cancel their flight. So they're just gonna come and hang. So they're gonna be here for the weekend. It's gonna be super fun. Okay, you guys, it is now just after 12 and I worked out, I showered, did my hair, all that. And I feel great. I honestly though, Last night I made pasta bolognese and I mean it was delicious going in but red meat just like sits in my stomach until next Tuesday. Like it just sits and it makes me feel like so like bloated but in like a painful way. Like it just, ugh, I feel like like all my body is craving now is like salad. Like I just want like greens because it just feels so heavy <laughs> inside of me and i'm just like uncomfortable but this outfit i tried on like 50 outfits to find one that like i didn't feel like i was gonna have a conniption in you know when like you're so bloated and everything's just like oh my god it's too tight like get it off me everything felt like that but i found an outfit that i'm cozy in um and yeah this shirt is from airy these pants are from aloe and i'm just wearing these little hanes crew socks that I got on Amazon. All of this will be linked down below um, and the socks are in my Amazon storefront. Well, I'll link these down below if I can find them. They're both a little bit older, but if I can't find them, I'll link something similar. And then jewelry, I just have on this Goryana necklace, this Ori necklace I wear every day. And then I've linked all my other jewelry a lot before. So you guys can find it somewhere on there. Although, you know what I will link? I'm gonna link my medical ID bracelet because I get a lot of questions from you guys about where I got it. It's from Etsy, but I'll link it down below because it's like my favorite. I think that, I don't know, like medical IDs are important, but they're so fugly a lot of the time. And like, I just don't understand why being chronically ill has to be not cute like why can't you make it cuter like why aren't there more cute options 
and Etsy has like a lot of good ones and I feel like this is just like a cute bracelet in general and it's also a medical ID so I want to help you guys out because why not make it cute you know also that reminds me I'll explain why it reminds it reminds me in a sec but I started a subscription on Instagram it's like this new thing that Instagram is doing where basically you guys pay like a monthly subscription to my subscription and I post like exclusive content for you guys so you'll get like more behind the scenes types of things or like unseen pictures or sometimes I'll start up like private group chats that start or that last like 24 hours and things like that um and like private reels just like whatever I want to post on there like I don't have any like guaranteed like oh I'll post this this many times or whatever but like I'm just gonna be posting things that I'm not posting other places on there so it's kind of like a private story but for me and you so if you guys want to subscribe uh, you can do so I guess like on my in Instagram um, right now it's on my story but I don't think it will be obviously by the time you guys see this but I'm sure there's like a place you can find it on my Instagram but if not I'm sure I'll be posting about it more it's four dollars and ninety nine cents per month and you can cancel at any time there's like i mean i don't control that um like i don't control the cancellations or whatever it's like instagram but i'm it says you can cancel anytime so i'm sure you can so if you guys want to check that out that'd be super fun we already have a bunch of people on there and last night i started a group chat and we were all just talking and it was so cute the reason why what i was saying reminded me of that was because in the group chat it was really sweet because a lot of you were just talking about health struggles that you're dealing with and like how seeing me live out like my life the way I do with a chronic illness like inspires you and makes you want to do more for yourself and that just makes me so happy and it feels so good and makes me feel like what I'm doing is so worth it because you know like when I first got diagnosed and I was posting about it a lot a lot like I definitely let comments get to me or people being like you post about this so much like you like we get it you have diabetes like whatever but like it's not for people that act like that it's for people who need support and need like a role model or need somebody to look to when they're feeling alone and that's why i post about it and no like i'm not like a strictly type 1 diabetes creator but i'm a creator with type 1 diabetes and it's naturally going to be in my content and the fact that that helps some of you is just like so incredible to me so i'm so happy that my content can help you guys so just a random tangent but i'm gonna go on with my day i'm gonna record my podcast episode today it's a friday i'm a little bit bummed because um I had plans like very tentative like nothing like set in stone I didn't like buy anything or anything like that for like a bunch of my friends to come over and celebrate Halloween which I kind of mentioned this morning and it just fell through like everyone sort of had other things like other commitments they had to do which like I completely understand and it is what it is like literally it just I'm neutral about it I'm like kind of bummed that it didn't happen but like I totally understand that like my friends just all had things that they had and they can't make it and like i know life happens so it's fine i'm glad like Alyssa's still coming it'll be fun um but tonight i just want to like chill i feel like i just like have a lot to do like i need to record my podcast like i said edit my podcast i need to like go and revolve and update my revolve favorites for you guys and just like be kind of online more today which i don't know like how much i'll be able to do just because i do have like pick up Alyssa and all things like that but uh yeah I just have like a lot to do I've been like behind this week after traveling whatever and also like I've been working on this like surprise that I am keeping from you guys it's not like a surprise for you I've just been working on something and or like doing something and I just like can't tell you guys yet but it's been like taking a lot of my time so that is that let's go record the pod I'm so happy that I've been consistent with it again. It's like been really fun. Okay, you guys, I just made some lunch for myself. I made a really, well, hopefully yummy dressing out of bitchin' sauce. So you guys know that like chipotle bitchin' sauce. So I did that. I added like olive oil and uh, lemon juice and some seasonings. And hopefully, I mean, I, I tried it and it tasted pretty good. So hopefully it tastes good on a salad. But this just has some greens. It's a pretty basic salad. Greens, 
leftover um, protein mac and cheese. The brand is Goodles. It's like a jalapeno flavor, so it kind of goes with like the spicy whatever. Some chicken sausage, did I say carrots, tomato, and pecans because I just like putting nuts in my salad a lot. Oh, and some goat cheese. A lot of random things all together, but that's like my favorite thing to do. Like I just love putting a bunch of random stuff in a bowl and calling it a day. So going to eat this and then I'm gonna record my podcast because I haven't gotten to that yet. But first we feed ourselves. <laughs> just made myself a second little coffee. So good. I just put my new coffee recipe on my on a private reel for my subscriptions. So definitely go check that out if you guys want to see the details. But it's so good. I'm just going to chill here for a while. Maybe put on a YouTube video and maybe edit my podcast as well. We'll see. But we're just chilling for now. All right. On my way to go get Alyssa from the airport now. I'm like kind of running late, not going to lie. But I really wanted to finish editing my podcast before they came because, I don't know, I just like wanted most of my work done so that I could just like enjoy my time. Um, so we're gonna head over there, let's see. Am I gonna be late? Okay, I'm fine, cause like they have to get their bag and whatever, so. Sorry in advance, Alyssa, totally did not clean, I don't know where to put you guys. Completely did not clean my car. Oh wow, I love that my door has fully been open. When's the last time I drove my car? That's a good question. Okay. So glad that my door's been open for like ever. Anyways, <sighs> I gotta post some stuff while I'm at red lights, but besides that, I've been so busy today with work and stuff, but I'm excited to like decompress over the weekend for sure. Guys, I just went to my mailroom. And I, there was like a Shutterfly thing and it like had my first and last name and like my full address and like it looked like an invitation. And so I was like, oh word, like what did I get invited to? I opened it up, I'm like, what? Who is this? I'm like, I do not know who this family is. Like what, why? I was like scared, I'm like who leaked my address, like what? And then I realized it's like fully just like an ad for Shutterfly but I was like, what? in the world, also Alyssa's here. <laughs> but I was like, what, who, literally who sent me this? Also you guys, this company called Feel Goods sent me these little drinks to try out. So I'm gonna give them a try. They have no added sugar. Uh, there's five carbs in one packet. So, and four grams of, um, Fiber. So pretty good, but yeah, they're just like little, they're giving like, what are those called? Emergency. Oh, yeah. So I'll have to give them a try and tell you guys. Another one. Emergency. Um, liquid IVs. Oh yeah, liquid <clears throat> IV too. For dinner, I made us some, we have zucchini and summer squash butternut squash, rice with some onion, and I have chicken sausage. They do not because they don't eat meat. But, Thank enjoy. <laughs> looks really good. I'm using like whatever's left in my fridge, so it's kind of random. Let me get us forks. Also you guys, I really quickly want to show you this sweatshirt that that company, Feel Goods, I think it's what it's called, sent me. It's literally so cute, I like actually squealed. Alyssa can vouch for me, I squealed when I saw it. <laughs> Any company that sends cute merch along with their product. I uh, just hear my shoulder pop? Wait, now I have to crack the other one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, any company that sends cute merch with their stuff, I'm like sold. It, that's what the back looks like. Super cute, but dinner was really good. Um, I was like so hungry. I got like a weird, really bad headache for some reason. But I took some Advil or ibuprofen. I mean, Tylenol. <laughs> and then we ate dinner and I feel fine now. And we made cookies, so. Gonna eat some cookies soon. They're like keto cookies. I had them once before and they just taste like, honestly they taste like extra sweet cookies, which is like weird, but they're really good. And I think we're gonna watch a little Halloween movie of some sort But yeah, I like I had to literally be like, okay, 
put your phone away because I, I'm like, my mind is like so in work mode. I just did like a lot of just like random work stuff today and I just like couldn't settle my brain down for like a hot sec, but I think I'm like decompressing and the cookie and obviously a decaf coffee, you guys know, will help. So that's my update, but I'm all cozy and I'm just ready to chill. This week was like, I went by really quick, but it was like a long week of a lot of stuff, you know? Okay guys, Alyssa and I are watching American Horror Stories. I don't know. It's like short videos or whatever, but I'm gonna make them my decaf coffee that I always make myself. And I'm very excited. I also um, keep going low, so I've had so many cookies. You had how many? Three? <laughs> Three. Yeah. But it so feels many. like so many within me. They're so good. They're so sweet. I'm like, oh. but they're really good. And the glucose tablets. And so many juices, I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, relax. Making a little bit of a decaf coffee sitch. So I fully just like didn't pause the TV because I don't care. Yeah, it's so loud. Like what's happening on that TV right now? Oh. <laughs> okay, no comment. I mean, it's very more story. So true, true, true. Imagine. So a lot of weird stuff. Oh, you guys, I totally didn't tell you, but I fully got a Christmas tree today. And the guy at Target was like, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Like, why did that just- so funny too, because American Horror Story is like spooky, but we're watching Christmas. Ooh, wait, that is fitting. Sorry, I know it's like lap for no reason. I could have paused it, but um, I've showed this recipe in a recent video, I believe, but I just do some cream, some nut pod, and a syrup of choice. I went with butter pecan tonight, but I already put a pot in. Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday morning, and I'm about to make us some breakfast, and we're also watching Hotel Transylvania. Well, I don't know how much I'll watch of it. Like, even last yeah. night, that show, like, I can't sit still. I just, like, can't watch. I just um, can't. I, yeah, I'm just, like, not good at watching. I can watch YouTube. Like, put it on, I'll sit there. But I'm gonna make us some breakfast. Well, actually, you're making your own eggs. Because I'm not being responsible for making your eggs. Why? Everyone likes their eggs differently. No, I'm not picky though. I don't care. I'm like not a good egg maker. Okay, fine, I'll make them. But like, I'm making them with vanilla almond milk. Okay. So they taste slightly vanilla. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make us some breakfast. We're gonna do, I don't even know if I do want a burrito, but I wanna use it up. Okay, so I'm gonna make us eggs. I have some blueberries avocado and then i found these at sprouts they're well i've seen this this egg life wrap thing before but these are sweet cinnamon and they're like they're good they kind of just taste like a crepe or like a yeah like a crepe sort of just like a different consistency but it's really good i had it with almond butter but i'm out of almond butter so i'm gonna do a little bit of butter and syrup on it and i think it'll be yummy they're literally if you guys care about carbs for reasons other than caring about carbs. Like, basically <laughs> if you're diabetic, there's only one carb in one wrap, so I might even put two in there. And they're egg white, so there's no cholesterol. Okay. Time to make, make breakfast. Here we are, I made us eggs, avocado, blueberries, and then a little sweet egg thing, whatever. Kind of slayed the eggs today, not gonna lie. Did you? But, I mean like low key. Oh I haven't tried that. them, but they look good. You know? Mm -hmm. I trust you. Yeah. Oh, I gotta pay my I credit card you. today. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I totally forgot to show you our lunch, but I made these big salads. They were so good. It had kale, butternut squash, carrots, onion, tomato, brown rice, goat cheese, and I had chicken sausage. And then I made a dressing out of oil, a bunch of spices, and balsamic vinegar. So, it was really good. But now I'm thinking, well, I forget if I said it yesterday, but I got a Christmas tree. And... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, I did. I did tell you guys. Um, and I don't have any ornaments or anything. But okay, the reason... I got a tree already is because I feel like the pretty ones always sell out. Like no, it's true. always. As soon as Halloween's over. Yeah, they're like gone. 
And you guys know I wanted my white, well not white Christmas tree, but I wanted my white light Christmas tree and it's like slightly flocked, it's really cute. I just got it from Target. I was gonna splurge and get like a really nice one from like Pottery Barn, but I just decided like I'll get that when I like get a house one day or something. So, got one from Target, but I need ornaments for it and I just wanna like see what other decorations Target has because those sell out so quick too and I didn't take any Christmas decorations in the move. So, I'll yeah. do that. And then I just need like a random list of stuff. And I'm going to take them. Target. Yeah, and we just love Target. But I'm going to take them to Foxtail Coffee. It's like one of my favorite coffee places and it's like on the way to Target. And I love them because they have like a decent amount of sugar-free flavors. Oh, is this one that has sugar-free hazelnut? That's, yeah. <gasps> this is where I get the hazelnut one. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. So we're going to go there. I was going to take them to coffee or caffeine roasters, but mm -hmm. it's a little bit further. So I'm thinking we can do that like on the way to Trader Joe's tomorrow morning because it's on the way. It's like five minutes away from Trader Joe's. So Yeah, I have to try all the coffee. That is the plan. And then chilling. Um, yeah, just chilling, working on my projects, mm -hmm. on my secret thing. <laughs> I can't wait for the F45 to open. Because oh, I've seen other people try that and I've always wanted to, but I just yeah. have never lived anywhere near one. I think so there's I'm very one. excited. I think there's one by me, but yeah, they're I'm like also all like over. Curious. Yeah, it looks super fun. I want to give it a yeah. shot. I don't really like workouts like that. Like whenever I go to workout class, usually I like like cardio, you yeah. know. But we're at Foxtail. This is how I always I use my, these peppermints to set my camera up. Now you know. I love it. Okay, so we went to Foxtail, like I just said, and I. Sorry, I um, I usually just get sugar-free hazelnut and cream, but I try. I wanted to try their pumpkin cold foam today, so I'm gonna try it first. Okay. I have to give. It, I feel like I do need to mix it because the, the I can see that the hazelnuts like all right, right? there. That, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna use a straw. Get the, all the flavors. Please hold. Stick it in after. You have one. I know, but I don't. I'm not gonna use it. After. Oh, okay. Me first. Me first. I me know. First. <laughs> What's going to taste? Oh, it's amazing. It's super good. Is it? Yeah. Okay, that's fire. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. And yeah. most of that flavor is the hazelnut. The hazelnut's like really powerful here. They okay. have good coffee. It tastes like McDonald's wraps. I give it like a... Okay. Mm, it's better when you drink it from the top. Mm-hmm. That's why I never use a straw. It tastes better. Mm. I mean, it tastes different drinking it through a straw better. and then not. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to Target now. Mm. Get the necessities and the not-so-necessities. And walk off the sugar in this. Yeah. Walk it off. Oh, here. I can't play music because my project is... <laughs> They're gonna be like, what? The <laughs> they're like, because my project music. is music. <laughs> oh my god, that didn't drop a diss track. <gasps> I just got my Christmas decor, but I got it because every year I'm like, well, first of all, here's my reasoning. I'm like, this is my like, I'm gonna be spending the Christmas season most of it like alone. So like, why not make it super fun and festive for me? And like. Also, I'm starting fresh, so like, I had to buy yeah. stuff that I already had owned before. And also like, if you, like, I don't know, for me, like, it gets to December, right? And I'm like, okay, let's go buy my Christmas decor. And it's Stay all from left. gone. Yeah, it's all gone by the time December comes around. And then I'm like, okay, well, this is only gonna be up for 25 days. So like, what's even the point of spending this money on the decor? Mm -hmm. So I, what I'm thinking is I'll just decorate early, enjoy it for longer. You get, yeah, you get to keep it up. And it's mine always. So Turn like, left onto South It's US fully Highway. mine. Yeah. So that's my reasoning. I'll give you guys a haul whenever I get back. There's a so, nice Bentley behind me. One day, manifesting. One day. Bentleys are like, you know how I'm like, oh, that's a really nice Yeah, Bentley. I know. <laughs> Whoa. Bentleys are crazy because like they're kind of fugly and it's like you know how like really rich people have like ugly houses yeah. like they're yeah. not even cute like that's what Bentleys are 
They're like not even cute, except that's a cute Bentley. That like, one's yeah. nice. I was gonna that's say. gonna be like four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, for sure. Um, but that one. But. We're gonna get a well. I'm gonna get car wash because I didn't. I don't think I told you guys, but the other day, I stopped at a gas station to go pee, and when I came out, somebody had put ketchup on my. Car. Guys, Again. I keep seeing one one one, including my blood sugar. Oh my. It's literally two two two. Weird. And I saw one eleven. At least I. I Weird, guys. Crazy. We're gonna get car wash because someone put ketchup on my car. Yeah. I was Whatever in like a not fuck. like amazing area. I was like kind of in the middle of nowhere. And I came out and it was fully like someone, it looked like someone took a packet and was like. I just like, who does that? I don't know. So I'm gonna get a car wash. I need the inside of my car is super dirty too, but I don't feel like sitting and waiting for detail because I wanna go work on my project. Um, but yeah, yeah me too. I want to give you guys a haul. Yeah, you got a lot of good Whenever stuff. I get back, because yeah, I got I already I got my tree yesterday, and I got a skirt for the tree, got ornaments, I got I got some Christmas pajamas, I got a stocking. Oh, I got a candle, the Christmas candle. Yeah, I got a Christmas candle, and then I also got like what I needed, like I need like toilet paper. Pepper. Oh, I didn't even get pepper because I, I needed like I have like a grinder. Oh, you know what else I got? I got uh, some Twix to put outside my door because the one there's like thing? yeah, there's like a few kids that live in my apartment complex. So and like whatever, whoever walks by my door can just take. I might honestly put them like maybe at the bottom. No, I'll put them outside my door. Oh, I got a wreath for my door too. My very first wreath. I've never gotten a wreath before. So yeah, yeah, that's cute. I'm trying to like talk because I don't have much footage for this vlog and I want to get this uploaded for you guys for Sunday but this week has just been like I was just busy with like a lot so I just like haven't really vlogged a lot. I feel like you always say that and then you always yeah because I never shut up. Stay <laughs> you like how much you I know I can talk know. five ever. That's so that's a good thing though. I know but I feel like you don't talk much so whenever I'm around you I'm like <laughs> I, I just do. like don't no you do but I feel like I just don't shut up I do but I don't yeah but like when I'm with Brie like me and Brie like neither of us ever shut up so we're is just Maddie, like is Maddie more quiet too yeah but Maddie talks too like That's we're so all true. talkers Bella's more quiet you and Bella are mm -hmm. quiet like when we're all together I feel like it's me Brie and Maddie and then you and Bella are, are like but you're I, like my, engaging my, you're like yeah yeah no but my family says that all the time like I I am the quiet one in my family can't relate. I don't. <laughs> Actually, I don't at home, why. I'm quiet. Yeah, same. Like, I am don't speak when I'm at home. I my don't parents are up. like... I know, I swear my mom knows who I am because of my YouTube videos. Same. Because I don't no, tell her. Same. I don't tell her anything. Hey, mom. I don't tell her hey, anything, mom. and then she's like, oh, how is this? And I'm like, I need a vlog. Oh, wait, vlogs. Yeah, like, no. Okay. I really want to go home. <laughs> I'm just getting <getting> gone. <laughs> I really want to work on my project. I really want to work on my project. But maybe I need pictures. Guys, currently in the car wash and my windshield wiper is like going automatically and the guy was like <laughs> Cut it off. But my windshield wipers. Oh my car's gonna beat the whole time. FYI. Is it? Yeah. Why? Because it has it? like sensors. There's something everywhere. What? Whoa, I'm getting dizzy from that. Mm -hmm. Look at <laughs> Car wash bye! Get the ketchup. Get the side of the car, please. That's the most important. <laughs> Just got back from Target, so I'll show you what I got. I haven't even shown you the Christmas tree that I got, but this is the tree skirt that I chose. I felt like it was just homey and like, it was just a very classic Christmas thing. So, I picked up that little plaid skirt. This is the ornament set that I went with. I'm like, I prefer to like start a collection and like have unique ornaments, but I feel like I like to do that like whenever I'm like, I have like a mini family, you know? So for now, in my little single era, we're gonna go with this stuff. And I think it's cute and I, I wanted red for sure. I knew I wanted to do like silver and whatever, like white, but I felt like red would be cute as well. I got two stockings cause one stocking felt really sad. So <laughs> got two. And I got some of these candy canes because I love, or not candy canes. Hershey Kiss candy cane flavor because I love these and just for like 
a little low snack because they're they're actually like pretty low carb. Six pieces is 18. So like if I just wanted like one, I wouldn't really do anything to my blood sugar. I also just had to get this native candy cane body wash. I'm not out of body wash yet, but like when I am out, it will be like closer to Christmas time. This is the candy that I got to put outside today. Alyssa and I each picked out an Olipop because I just recently, Maddie told me, she was like, they have so many, uh, so much fiber in them. And I was like, wait, you're so right. And so they're like very low carb and I love them. So I'm gonna have one of those. Got some Christmas PJs. Picked out a little Christmas candle. This one is just like Christmas tree and it's cute. I felt like it would be cute on the new table that I'm getting. I don't know if I showed you guys the table yet, but it's gonna go over on the wall where the mirror was and I feel like that would look really cute. Picked up more mascara. This I get a lot of questions about what I use. I've literally used this since high school and yeah, this is what I use. And then I got a wreath, which I'm not gonna show you guys just because people are crazy and if you like found out where I lived, you could find my door by my wreath. So I'm not gonna show you, but I got a uh, hook for the wreath. So that is everything that I got. I don't know if I'm gonna decorate tonight, but like honestly, maybe because I'm not going out for Halloween. So I'm almost like maybe that just means I should decorate for Christmas. Also, I'm not like 100% sure where my tree's going because I was gonna go put it over on that wall, but now that I'm getting that table, I'm like, well, I don't want it there. So I'm thinking over in the corner, like where my olive tree is, like, let me show you. I'm thinking about putting it right here if it fits, but it might be like really squished. Honestly, it probably will be. So in that case, honestly, maybe even like right here in my kitchen, I don't know. Wait, Alyssa there. just made a good point. I could move this yeah. and put it there. Mm -hmm. That's probably what I'll do. I think it would look really cute. Though. Yeah. Okay. We'll play around. And then I the basket. I would look really cute because I knew the stockings would be nice. Oh, so you're so right. And I can put this like yeah. right here. Yeah. Block that and put hang the stockings from the TV. Yeah, that'd be super cute. I want to make something fun with whatever I have left in my fridge. So I have a sweet potato. I have a butternut squash. I have, I have like salad veggies, but I don't know if those are going to get eaten. Um, I have peppers, onion, I don't know, but I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. However, I'm gonna roast these. It's literally only four, I'm not like, I'm making dinner, but I wanna roast these up so that whenever we do eat, these are like ready. But I'm thinking like, I'll roast these, maybe like air fry some, or maybe saute some peppers, onion, and, hmm. I also have a pizza crust, like a cauliflower pizza crust. So I don't know. Oh wait, but tuna. Yeah. We're gonna make tuna. Wait, we now I'm tuna. like all confused. Okay, well I could put the onion in the tuna. Mm -hmm. Okay, well now I'm like tuna and butternut squash and sweet potato don't really blend well. But, but like they do. They're still good it's on fun. its own. It's yeah. together. Okay, what if? Cause I have a bunch of kale still, like enough for us to split. What if I did like kale with like, you know, oil and lemon water. And then we'll make tuna with onion and pepper in it, put it on top of the kale. And then on the side, we can have like a little bit of sweet potato, a little bit of butternut squash and I'll have chicken sausage. Oh wait, no, cause I'm having tuna. <laughs> you have chicken sausage. I'm like, I want it to get eaten. <laughs> okay, you guys. We're going to cook up the squash. I have to cut it and I feel like this is the hardest part. That was my finger. Stop. <laughs> you would not casually just say that. It sounds like a brick. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Why is it cute? Wait, I gotta take an Instagram pic of it. I figured I would make this on camera for you guys to show you like recipe because I, I get so many questions about like, oh, like how did you make this, whatever. And so I wanna start showing like my food more, I guess on YouTube, maybe like reels or something. I don't know. But I did put my salad recipe that I made today in my um, Instagram subscriptions and normal Instagram did not get it. So subscribe if you're not already. If you guys didn't know, Instagram has this new thing called like, I think I said it in this video already, but it's like Instagram subscriptions. Check it. But uh, yeah, I figured I would just like start to show you guys more of my food because honestly, 
I'm like low key a really good cook, and I feel like I could like. Okay, I'm like a really good cook. <laughs> I didn't want to like be boastful, but like I can cook. And I like, I don't really, I'm following a recipe right now, mostly, mostly cause like, I don't know what temperature and like how long to cook butternut squash, but like, ev like I just like free ball everything. And like, I'm like, ooh, like this would look good together or whatever. And so I feel like you guys could benefit from my recipes. Cause like, I just make them up honestly, so. That's my goal. I want to bring that in. Maybe like, ooh, something fun. Maybe like during Vlogmas, I could do like every day I like show one recipe. And it could be like sometimes it's breakfast, sometimes it's dessert or lunch or dinner. That could be really fun. Okay. Snack. snack. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I actually like get creative with snacks. Like sometimes it's like a platter of like fat fiber protein. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just scooped the insides. Now I have to get a pan. Okay, if it fits in this, I wanna put it in this little one because I just feel like it might cook better. Okay, yay, it fits. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do, wait, I wanna see if it's suggested butter or oil because I think I'm gonna use oil. Uh, yeah, oil. Oil, salt, and pepper. I don't have much butter left and I really wanted to use it for the little like. You don't have much pepper left either. <laughs> yeah, I don't, but I have enough, I have enough. It'll go a long way. I feel like you want it to be like moist, so. Um, okay. Now, I'm gonna do some salt and pep. Then it says to put it flesh side down with like a fourth cup of water at the bottom of the pan. So let me put water at the bottom. Water going in. Flesh side down. Isn't the olive oil just gonna pour out? Anyways. Okay. So that's in there. And so it says to put it in uncovered for 40 to 45 minutes. However, this one's like super small. So I think I'm gonna start with like 35 and go from there. So I'm putting it in at 400 and we'll see what happens. Kinda wanna roast a uh, sweet potato too. Just looked up a recipe. This is called like a melting sweet potato recipe. That's dramatic. All it is, is I'm gonna cut it into like slices and put olive oil, salt and pepper on it and roast it. <laughs> so, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna not use this end, it's rotten. Oh. Oh. It's like rotten. Oh. oh no. It's rotten. Oh, well, this is the end, but it like goes deep. Well, we're not making sweet potato, but I have this pan, so now I feel like I need to make broccoli or something. Cause I just, I don't want to waste the foil. Consensus was, I'm gonna just make this broccoli cause that sweet potato was rotten. So, oh wait, uh, yeah. I was gonna do it in a bowl, but it's fine. Okay. Spread these out. I feel like making broccoli is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna drizzle with olive oil. By the way, guys, olive oil is like so good for you. Mm -hmm. I heard a doctor once say that the reason that we eat is so that we can put olive oil in our mouths. <laughs> Salt and pep. I'm gonna do some everything but the bagel seasoning, crushed red pepper, some garlic powder, and cumin. And you guys, if you're ever using like garlic or cumin or like chipotle powder, or anything like that, use paprika because it makes, it brings out the flavor. It's a complimentary seasoning. So it'll make the other, like paprika itself doesn't really taste like anything, but the reason that you use it is because it makes, it complements the other flavors and makes them pop more. Fun fact. And then my secret to good veggies is you have to mix them with, you have two options, tongs or your hands. <laughs> so. <laughs> and today, we choose today we choose hands. I think I'm gonna add some more oil. TBH, actually I'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar instead. Just a wee bit. This isn't a reduction, this is like straight vinegar, so. Okay. 
okay and I am gonna put just like a teeny bit more oil because honestly in my opinion you can never really have enough olive oil unless it's like greasy but like you can put a lot like you probably need more oil than you think that's my cooking advice mm -hmm. like I can't stand when I, people are cooking and I look over and there's like dry veggies roasting and I'm like Hello. Use a little bit of oil. Like, I promise you, oil's good for you. Yeah. Like, olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. Be cautious like, of what oil you yeah. choose, but like, olive oil, avocado oil, they're like, they're not even not bad for you. They're straight up good for you. So. Straight up. There you go. Okay, wait, you guys, also, if you don't own one of these yet, you need to. It, I got this one from Target. It makes everything so easy. So basically, you just put whatever veggies in. You press down and it dices them in one press. I'll link it down below. It's like actually the biggest lifesaver if you cook a lot. You guys, kind of outdid myself. Mm -hmm. Butternut squash, charred broccoli, uh, kale salad with some tuna fish, like tuna salad on top, but I roasted the onion and red pepper. And then garlic cheese bread made out of a cauliflower crust and some olive oil. Uh,